All right, when we were taking the transmission out of this Bug Eye 2002, you take off the turbo heat shields and you're gonna break a lot of the hardware. This is a Midwest car. Uh, we've got six pieces of hardware that are broke. Two pieces are in the cat down pipe. Two pieces are in the heat shielding. And then up here, inside the engine, uh, one right there, and then I have one more back there. But that one that's back there, I'm not going to get to. So I'll show you how I'm gonna do it. And the first one is right here. So we're just gonna put this guy in the vise. Does not get much better than that for trying to just shoot it in there. That's pretty darn perfect. All right, so I got lucky. That's all it is, is I got lucky. So now we'll just go in with progressively bigger drills. So this is a six millimeter. Tap drill for that is a 196. So, which is five millimeter. Holy macaroni. I have a five millimeter drill, which is tap drill for six millimeter. Ah, uh, that's a lucky find. 100% lucky find. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through here I'm gonna drill it to six millimeter or five millimeter, and then I'm gonna get a six millimeter tap. All right. Oh, 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 oh. I'm excited. All right, so you can see the hole. Okay, so now we're gonna put a six millimeter by one tap through here. We're probably gonna pull up some of the old bolt. Oof, it's in there and it's turning. So we got, we're gonna try and work that out. Okay, and we wanna drive that down. Oh yeah, oh, we, we might do it. We might get her. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get an easy out. And I'm gonna put it on the opposite end. Yeah, that might work. Let's try that, hold on. We'll put this in there and see if we can, can't turn that out of there. Ah, uh, it doesn't wanna. Okay. You know what, also we're gonna try now, we're gonna try and just tap this. Tap this so that it, maybe we can push that away from that side. Oh yeah, look at, oh yeah. We're gonna get her. We're gonna get her. Yep, we got her. Beautiful. So this is what's left. Well, I can't see it. Now what we'll do is we'll run a tap in there. Okay, so it's pretty it's pretty wallered out. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna run a number seven drill through there, and we're gonna tap this for quarter twenty. Five millimeter drill is .196. A number seven drill is 0.201 so it's only five thou difference so this guy will go in there i'm just going to run a quarter 20 tap in there and we're going to be good to go you know when you're old and blind it is so hard to see the numbers on these super hard okay so now we're going to switch to quarter 20. that's going to work for that heat shield repair we actually use that same 196 drill, five millimeter, instead of a number seven for the quarter 20. They won't all go that nice, because this guy here is just a, in a piece of tin. I wonder if I could heat him up and get him to move, but I'd be afraid of breaking that spot weld. So we'll go like this. We'll do the same thing. <laughs> Yeah, I don't see a lot of thread left in there. Okay, we'll try and run a six millimeter tap through. Yeah, it, it goes in and you can hear it cutting threads. So this one, unfortunately, will stay six millimeter. All right, these next two 
are going to be pretty sketch. I'm a little bit too far that way because you can still see some silver. It wasn't my best. This is a number eight drill, which is 199. Five millimeter was a 196. So let's see how long it'll take to burn this one up. I don't think you're gonna see a lot, but if we don't, then I'm not gonna play any of this. Perfect. We're running a six millimeter at first to try it. This, this is really sucky. This is a junky ratchet. Oh, this is a tough spot to be in. Yeah, it's going. Feels like it's tapping nicely. It's a little on an angle, but uh, give me a break. Cut me some slack. All right, that's gonna do it. I'm happy with the progress on this one. We got that drilled and tapped. We got the four other ones drilled and tapped. And now we're waiting on parts, a rear main seal, a downpipe turbo to exhaust seal, and a flywheel. And then we have the pressure plate, thrall bearing, pilot bearing, the whole dealy bop. All right, we're getting there. Now I'm gonna go put the motor in the GT6000 Craftsman Lawn Tractor.